At Southern Scientific, we've reconfigured our drinking water sampling procedure to comply with the best available guidelines on PFAS sampling. As PFAS compounds can be found in everyday household items such as cookware and clothing, contamination when sampling is a high risk. In this video, our field technician, Danny O'Leary, will outline the steps to taking, labeling and transporting a PFAS sample so that it is safely arriving at the lab. What are the precautions to take prior to taking a PFAS sample? 1. Clothing that is water resistant, such as high-vis jackets, cannot be worn when sampling for PFAS compounds. Ideally, wear a coat that is not washed with fabric softener. 2. When sampling, avoid touching clothing, your face and hair, particularly if you are wearing makeup, hand cream, sunscreen or other personal care products. Long hair should be tied back. 3. Ensure your hands are washed well before sampling. 4. A fresh pair of gloves must be worn when sampling. Use nitrile gloves rather than latex. 5. Keep food, especially wrappers, away from the sample area. Avoid contact with these products before you start sampling. 6. It's recommended that you follow all normal drinking water sampling guidelines. For instance, it is much easier to sample from a tap rather than using pumps and balers. What equipment is used specifically for taking PFAS samples? A 1 litre high density polypropylene bottle is used for sampling for PFAS analysis. The container needs to be HDPE or PP. Holding times range from 14 to 28 days. When samples are not taken directly to the lab and are therefore passing a lot of hands before getting there, it is good practice to place bottles in a PFAS free plastic Ziploc bag before putting it into the cooler box. What's the process for taking PFAS samples? 1. Ensure area around the sink is clean and free from typical PFAS items as mentioned before. 2. Let the tap run for at least 5 minutes at a high flow rate. 3. Before sampling, reduce the flow rate. 4. Using new nitrile gloves, collect the samples for PFAS first prior to gathering samples for any other parameters using other containers. This avoids contact with any other type of sample container, bottles or packaged materials. 5. As with all other samples, do not place the sample bottle cap on any surface when collecting the sample and avoid all contact with the inside of the sample bottle or its cap when opening bottles. Be careful not to touch the inside of the cap or the bottle. 6. Place the bottle under the stream of water. Fill the water to the shoulder of the bottle. Don't let the water overflow from the bottle. 7. Take the sample and close the bottle once filled. 8. Place bottle in a cooler box with ice or ice packs that are PFAS free. PFAS samples should be stored separate to other samples. The science on PFAS sampling is changing as more attention is paid to these compounds. At Southern Scientific we are doing as much research as we can to stay on top of best practices. If you're interested in keeping track of these updates, subscribe below 